Hey, welcome back. This is uh, Mr. Herman with another video. This one's going to be on solving an equation by completing the square when a is not equal to 1. The other example I have, a is equal to 1. a is the coefficient of the square term. In this case, a is 3. Before we solve this, we have to do one extra step if it's not equal to 1. But to start, the first thing we do is get it so the constant's on the right side and the x terms on this side. So we're going to subtract 5x from both sides to start that process off. And that gives us 3x squared minus 5x equals 7. Now we need to divide by 3. And we're dividing by 3 because we want this to cancel out. We want the coefficient of the x squared term, which is a, we want that to equal 1. That cancels here, and we get x squared minus 5 thirds x. This is where I usually put the blank in, plus blank, equals 7 thirds. The blank, of course, is because we're going to be adding something to both sides, and that's going to be what we find with the completing of the square. So to do that, we're going to take b, which is negative 5 thirds, take negative 5 thirds, divide it by 2, which is the same as taking it times a half. You're welcome to just take divide by 2 in your calculator and square it. But you should show the steps here because uh, we'll see why in a minute more. We go into that in the class too. And that equals 25, 36. Don't want to change it to a decimal because it does not terminate. So we're going to leave it like that. So then we're going to take and add that to both sides. So plus 25, 36 here. And plus 25, 36 here. Use a calculator to add these two together over here. And when you add them together, you get 3 and a 36. So this is equal to 3 and 1, 36. Here now we get to factor this out. So let's take this here. To factor this out, we set it up like this. It's a perfect square. That's why it's got, it's got really it's two of these binomials next to each other. But we only show one because we put the square. Take the square root of this term here, which is x. Then again, to find this spot over here, you might remember, we sh I showed this in class, the way to find that is to go back up to here and look here. Whatever's inside the parentheses here before you squared it, in this case that's going to be negative 5, 6. Negative 5 times 3 times 2. So negative 5, 6. Now we're going to take the square root of both sides to use the square root property. And since 3 into 36 is not a perfect square, we're going to leave it in there. So plus minus, that's our two choices for our answers. There we're going to have two answers because it's quadratic. And over here the square root cancels this out. We get x minus 5, 6. Now we get one more, a couple more steps to do. We're going to add 5, 6 to both sides. And now we're going to write out our two answers. So let me slide this down just a little bit so you have a little more space here. There we go. And in adding this 5, 6, it cancels here, so I get x equals. And now our two answers are going to be, let's see what they're going to be. The first one's going to be 5, 6, start with the bottom number you have here. 5, 6 plus the square root of 3 and 1, 36. And the other answer is going to be 5, 6 minus the square root of 3 and 1, 36. 36. So go ahead and put those into a calculator. And since this is irrational, you're going to get a decimal that does not terminate. So this one is approximately, when you put it in, it comes out to be approximately 2.573. And this one is approximately negative 0.907. Again, those are both rounded to the nearest thousands place. Always, as usual, always check them one at a time. Check this by putting it in place of the x here and the x here, and make sure both sides are equal. They might not be exactly the same because we rounded it, but they should be really close. And using this one here also, and both sides, and check it. And when you put this one negative one in, don't forget in here, you have to put parentheses around it before you square it.